first guest, one of the funniest guys working today. The third season of his Emmy-nominated show, Louis, starts Thursday night at 10.30 on FX. Boy, a funny, funny show that is. He just has announced his new stand-up tour. For details, go to his website, louisck.net. Please welcome Louis C.K. I'm okay. How are you? I'm all right. I'm fine. I'm fine. Everything is good. Yeah, I th I'm uh, pretty happy to be me. You know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I am. Right. Well, sometimes yeah, I used to wish I was a black guy. You used to wish you were a black guy. Now, yeah. Why? Why, why that? Because they're cool, man. Yeah. Black guys. Hey, you know they're cool. Yeah. I did. Yeah. I used to want to be a black guy. Yeah. Not anymore. But mm -hmm. um, <laughs> <laughs> I uh, sometimes I wish I was gay. Gay? Yeah. <laughs> okay. They're having a good time, those guys. You know? Uh, I mean, I don't want to be, I don't want to be gay, I don't want to have gay sex. I just, I, I, I don't want to be left out of things either, you know? Yeah. Like they're just yeah. having it's a, a, it's a fine line. Yeah, when I yeah. see two guys kissing, I'm like, how come I can't kiss one of those guys? They're having a good time, you know? Right. But I don't desire to kiss a man. I just, uh, I just, you know, like being heterosexual is hard. It's, it's, it's a lot of work. Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> In, in, in what way? Well, uh, it's a lot of pressure. We put it on ourselves. Mm -hmm. Heterosexual men worry that we'll be misidentified as gay. Like, we're the only group that cares that you know what we are. <laughs> like, there's no women that are scared somebody will think they're a lesbian. I never heard that. Right. And there's no gay guys that are like, they're going to think I'm straight. Like, yeah. you never hear that. Right, right. <laughs> But we worry about it. Yeah. And yeah. so it's limiting. Yeah, it's like yeah. there's things that we can't do that might be nice. All right, like? Because we're worried folks will think, like you can't, I can't throw the word wonderful around. <laughs> there's really, there's not a really effective heterosexual version of, yeah. Yeah. oh man, that was wonderful. Right. Uh, dude, that was wonderful. That yeah. strip club was wonderful. Yeah. Like it doesn't. Yeah. I can't, I can't tell my gay, my, if I have a straight friend, I can't say to him, I, I miss you. Yeah. You know? And if you miss somebody, that's how you say it. I miss you. Yeah. Like sloping down. To, I miss you. And you I gotta go like, hey, yeah, I miss you, man. Yeah, I miss you, dirt, you know, nails. Right. Yeah, you know, whatever. And you, you have to stick to primary colors like blue and green. You can't go taupe. Yeah, no, you can't, no. you can't wear earth color. You right, can't no, earth color. do anything. You can't do yeah. this. Yeah. <laughs> If I, go, if I go visit my friend uh, uh, who's, uh, who's straight and he's a big guy and he's sitting like this on the couch, I can't snuggle in here. I can't. Right. Right. I can't. Right. 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 That might be nice. I would say that is probably the most heterosexual outfit I've ever yeah, seen. Yeah, this is. Right now. It just, you look like a man who tried to dress himself. It is. This is. <laughs> this is it. I mean, is it? Well, you look like a cop. Is it inside out? <laughs> I, mean, like, I do. You look like you're protecting the president. Well, this is my job. This is my uniform. I know. I you are. This. By the way, you are. And I don't. I, I hope I can say this without insulting you. Yes. You are. The, no. You know, you're the weirdest looking person on the planet Earth. Thank you. Oh, that's like, no, really, thank you. That doesn't. No, that doesn't insult me at all. That's that's very kind. I don't mean that as a no, negative. No, not at all. It's just not nobody. I can't describe it. It's just the you. fact that I have a full head of hair. That's what's going on. Well, that, yeah, sure. sure. The wrong that. way. I'm not. I, it's just that I, I just can't. don't have to cover my chin because I'm proud of it. But Jay, no, go, it's go. not. <laughs> Jay. No, no, but go ahead. Jay, I'm sure if you I, weren't famous yeah. and you robbed a bank yeah. and the dude was describing you to yeah. like a police sketch artist, yeah. he'd be like, no, seriously, what did he look like? <laughs> nobody nobody, nobody looks, looks like, like this. <laughs> nobody looks like you. Really? I can't I can't believe I'm looking at you all wow. the time I'm looking yeah. at you. And, and if you robbed a bank, what? I'd keep the money and be yeah, happy. No, I'd say that. <laughs> I'd be good at you it. You'd just say, it's Mr. Potato Head. And they would go, <laughs> oh. But enough about you and I. Yeah. How are your daughters? How are the two I girls? Have, yeah, my two girls are great. They, yeah. uh, they're, you know, they're great. They, 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 as long as I don't make a mistake, they'll be fine. You know what I mean? Like, the only thing I could do is screw them up. I don't right. think they're fine. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 
I love being with them. They like being with me. Yeah. <laughs> it's really, I mean, they're about their mom. Mom is the one. Right. In everybody's life. It's sure, your mom. Sure. Your dad, my dad was okay, yeah. you know? <laughs> That's what people say. Dad, you know, the, the worst thing you could call somebody, the worst thing you call somebody is mother That's the worst right, thing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah, right, that's yeah. appropriate, yeah. the response. <laughs> Terrible thing. Yeah. Another word for mother is dad. <laughs> it's the same thing, they're synonyms. So, good night, everybody. See you next week, good night, thank you, everybody. We'll take a break, more with Luke. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about your two daughters. You're raising yeah. them in New York City. Well, how is that? Is that tough? Is that hard? It can be. I mean, you're raising your kids in a, you know, it's a bad place, basically. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> you just adapt. I mean, you can't yeah. have the same parental uh, rules. And, uh, uh, you know, like you try, when you have kids, you try to do everything just right. Uh, if I put my kids in a car for a trip, they got to have their seatbelts on. Right. And I make a big deal. We're not moving until you put your seatbelts on. And that makes me feel like I'm taking care of them. If we get in a taxi in New York, I'm like, it's uh, taxis are magic. Nobody dies. Just get in. Right, right, right. Just don't. Yeah. It doesn't. I'm not reaching in the seat of a New York taxi. Yeah. Into all the severed toes and Egyptian hepatitis. Right. To try to find a seatbelt. You got to put well, on your own mask before Egyptian you help the other hepatitis. ones. That's, That's right. So my kids are just hurling through space yeah. on 6th Avenue, you yeah. know, being driven by the profit motive of a, a very tired man right. sure. who comes from a country where life is just dirt cheap. That's <laughs> basically how I do it. Um, now, do, do the girls try to be funny because you're a comic? My uh, youngest daughter, she tells jokes a lot. Oh. And I love her jokes. She invents them. She doesn't steal oh, other people's stuff. Oh, she writes them, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Okay. And uh, her jokes are great because I don't know what's going to happen. Right. <laughs> You know, you know jokes after a while. If someone sure, starts a joke, you know what's going to happen. Right, right. But not hers. No? Here's the joke she told me the other day. She said, uh, who told the gorilla that he couldn't go to the ballet? Right away, I love this. This is right. a great joke. Right, I, don't. I don't know this joke. I never heard it. I don't know. Who told the gorilla he couldn't go to the ballet? I said, who? And she said, just the people who are in charge of that decision. Yeah. Oh, that's an excellent... Yeah, so... So your material is very similar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Apparently it's hereditary. Yeah, it doesn't add up. That's right. Now, now you've been you've been divorced for a while. Do you yeah. miss do you miss being married? Is it... No, I don't. I mean, I'm I I think. Uh... <laughs> well, you, I guess I guess you wouldn't be divorced. No, but, I wouldn't be. But you know what I mean. No, I've been uh, I've been divorced to her for about four years now, and. Uh, we get along better now. We're, you know, my kid's mom is a great person, and right, we, right. we have a good relationship. And uh, and I, I look, I'm ra I've been I was raised. I love women. I was raised by a woman. I'm I'm raising two women, and uh, uh, women are my whole life. I really love them uh, a lot. <laughs> no, no, I do. So you think women are better than men? Do you think? Well, no, I mean, I don't think. I don't think women are better than men. Men, men are a lot worse than women, though. Right. <laughs> like, there's no, there's not even a comparison. Yeah, yeah. Like, some people try to say, no, women cause, no, nothing. Yeah. It doesn't even touch the mayhem of just male nonsense and violence. Yeah. Yeah. The worst thing you can say about a woman is that she's annoying to a guy. That's the worst thing. Sure. Men are so hard, like, like a woman, you can say, like, my mom makes me feel stupid. Oh, really? My husband murdered me. Right. right it's just right. a whole... Yeah, it's different. Yeah, yeah. So, you know? That Kim, would Kim, be worse. Kim, yeah. Kim Kardashian's annoying. Really? Hitler killed everybody. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's not... Yeah, that's an interesting... There's not... Even when, you, even when you hear of a guy who's a great guy... Yeah. He's an amazing guy. He's a, he's a big community activist. He's a good right. guy. And then it turns out he's just been... He's been molesting kids for years. Right. Just years. Just tons, it's always tons of kids. Right, like, right. nobody gets found guilty of one count. Right, right, right. It's always like 50 or 100. He's just been doing it. Like, when did he have time to coach? Like, right. when did he have time to do his job? Right. It's... The most impressive thing is how good that offense was, considering how much time that dude spent. Wow. <laughs> Think, how, could, how good would Penn State be if that guy wasn't wasting his time? Yeah. 
But it went on for so long that nobody, it, by the time they caught him, he was done. He was like, ah, it's, I'm sick of it anyway. Like, yeah. he didn't even care. Yeah. Yeah. Well, look at this. <laughs> tell us about, uh, tell us about your tour. You got this big tour. Why is this different? How is this tour different from other tours? Well, I'm sorry, I'm going on tour all over the country doing stand-up in mm -hmm. theaters, and I'm selling the tickets on my website. So you're selling them yourself? You're Just not using on, Ticketmaster yeah. or anything? None of those, that, which is a terrific service, but they're yeah. very expensive. So, right. and I get, so we're trying to bring the price down. Oh, so okay. tickets are the same price all over the country, and they're very low prices. And it's you can only get tickets on my website, I see. just like everything else. So and and you don't have to join anything. Right. Uh, you just go on, you buy a ticket, and you go to my show. You laugh or you don't, and I don't care. Right. And then, uh, but uh, but you can only buy it on my website. Yeah, that's the new thing. So you're on the road, like you're going all over the country. Anything yeah. surprise you when you go to places? Well, I love uh, seeing America. It's a great right. place, and the good and the bad. You know. Um, Tell I was, me about the bad. Okay, well, uh, <laughs> I was in Knoxville, Tennessee, which is a, you know, it's a great town. They have a Dunkin' Donuts there. It's a nice town. Right. Um, Obviously. Yeah. 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 So I'm in Knoxville. <laughs> <laughs> really? I'm just saying. You brought it up. <laughs> really? Like I'm still wearing the donuts from Knoxville? No, That's what you're trying to tell me? Uh, you are still wearing the donuts. I am, from wearing, the donut. I am wearing the donuts from Knoxville. Hey, well, go man, ahead. What care. happened in Knoxville? I don't care. Go ahead. Have at it, buddy. No. Uh, okay, Knoxville. So I'm in Knoxville and I'm playing this very old theater. And I go to the sound check. You know, beautiful red velvet seats. And then way at the top, the seats are uh, like wooden, old, unpainted seats. And I said to the guy, What's the, why are those seats different? And he goes, oh, that's a colored only section. What? And yeah, he said color. He said he said that used to be the color only section. And so I was like, oh wow! So you like you preserved it to show, like how it was. <laughs> and he was like, well, I mean, they can sit wherever they want. <laughs> but like he didn't understand the idea. He was like, what? Yeah, no, it ain't color only anymore. They can sit wherever they want. used to be. And I was like, so it's like it's like a historical. He's like, no. <laughs> it's just now you sometimes white people sit there. <laughs> they handle that pretty well. Yeah, I yeah, they do. They do. Well, folks, it's uh, Louis C.K. This is the, the, the second complete second season. Why it's out. really a funny show. Get get the Thank DVD, you. folks, and get it. They probably get it on Netflix too. Right? They can go on Netflix, and cool. then it starts June twenty eighth this Thursday. And it starts this Thursday. Starts Louis. Thank you, three. my friend. Thank, Thank you, you buddy. Thank you. Be right back.